and welcome. I'm Daphne O'Neill and this is Expressions. There are of course thousands of ways to create expressions of the self. At the extremes are tears of joy and of pain. And there are those expressions of the day-to-day -day things that help make a difference in who we are and what is important to us. We at KMTP make such expressions every day and every hour. Through such programs as Classic Arts Showcase, we express to you the value of music, ballet, film, and art. Art is an expression of the self. The artist uses her imagination to express her feelings, thoughts, ideas, her very soul. In our day-to-day -day world, we may acknowledge only manifestations of the physical. At KMTP, we're here to provide a television venue for artistic expression because it's of value to you and to us. Because we want to make a difference, we're proud to offer you the daily easy access to art. Though each of us may be artistically inclined in some way, to the artist, the expression of the self is the very essence of life. To the artist, art is life. So today, we ask you to express your life by making a difference. Support KMTP so that we can continue to support the arts. Make a difference. Express your support. Contribute to KMTP and let us express our support for your support. With your contribution, KMTP will provide you with this art expression. Express yourself and make a difference. Right now, we have with us local Bay Area artist, Donna Maestrich. Welcome, and thank you for coming. Thank you. So, um, I've seen these little, these little figurines here, and I'm just fascinated by them. Um, what are they? Well, um, it's a little idea that I had. Um, I was making a gift for my father. Uh, I made bulletin board tacks for him, and I called them tacky people. Well, that's thrilling, and so, can you actually show us? How sure, you I would love to. Uh, this is a polymer clay that I use, and there are many different kinds, and mm -hmm. you can get them at the art supply store. I see. So, I, I start with a little ball, and then I'm going to make a pin out of this. So I have all my little findings here, and I put this all together, and I actually made this little tray for myself to work on. Wow, interesting. Another uh, aspect of resourcefulness. So. Um, you know, we hear about a lot of artists who paint and, and draw, but model making and, and doing wax work, that's sort of not as typical. H how did you get into those areas? Well, it's really interesting. Um, my parents, I'm, I'm one of those rare artists that had parental support. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that actually is worth applause. That's fantastic. It is. <laughs> and uh, um, my father bought me, my parents bought me a gift when I was a kid. Uh, that was a little sculpture thing where there was a, um, it, it was like a little plaster sculpture thing and, mm -hmm. and there was already a plastic thing inside and you can carve it away. Oh, that, I see what you're that taught me a lot about sculpture uh -huh. because you can see in a block of wood or clay or whatever, you, you can see something inside of that and then go for it. Right, exactly. So that was an important lesson. But uh, both my parents supported me in the arts. That's really thrilling. It's those early lessons that can be so um, interesting. And then speaking of resourcefulness again, I understand that while you were in school at the Academy of Art, rather than just doing your projects, your class projects, and kind of putting them away, you actually, you know, made commerce out of it. Well, art school is very expensive. Okay. <laughs> and so, I, and um, you know, struggling students um, definitely need to find ways uh, to to fund themselves and so what I would do um, and it started when I was a kid I made love beads and I sold them to my classmates and I made little things and I sold them and I taught art to kids like that in high school so then when I it was natural for me when I went into um, college what I did was I would go the teacher would give me an, you know something like let's say make business cards right, exactly. as an assignment and I would hit the streets and knock on doors until I found somebody who needed a business, card. Needed a business card so then I would design the business card turn right. it in for my homework and then get paid for it 
paid for my materials and things like that. That's remarkable. It sounds like you could give lessons to a lot of artists um, <laughs> in terms of how to, you know, sort of take those projects and entrepreneurially and actually profit from them. It, yeah, I, you know, it's it's hard, and it all all stems from, you know not having the funding so you have to be creative you have to be resourceful if you want to be an artist and I at a very early age I made a commitment to myself that I would either be an artist or die trying because oh. I did not want to have like a, a straight job the, the longer you work at a straight job the, the less your skills need to be constantly worked so well, this is remarkable because so many artists find they have to kind of stumble along at temp jobs or temp jobs and do their art in their spare time. So you just decided that you would not, you know, sort of take those sort of full-time day jobs. No, definitely not because what happens when you, you have a job like that, you, it, it takes you further and further away from art itself, the art world, your skills. Right. You know, it's a, you know, you're not born walking. You come out of your mother, it's practice, practice, practice. Right, exactly. So you need that time to so work. So if you're working in an office and that, like I have a friend, he's a fantastic artist. Right. But he, he's been doing construction for so long that it, it's, it's harder for him to get started. That's really interesting. 